This video will describe the design, the development, and testing of this new dust shield for the AccuWedge system. The purpose of this new dust shield is to provide a dual dust shield system for the AccuWedge system. This will minimize the dust collection on the roller bearings on the AccuWedge system. Our AccuWedge system can actually be used on a bandsaw in two different ways. It is originally developed to run on the AccuSlice system that mounts to the AccuSlice table on the rail and uses it in that method. But several years ago I developed this new system where the AccuSlice system can mount to a mounting plate that mounts directly on the bandsaw table so a customer would not need to buy the AccuSlice system to use the AccuWedge system. And you may have mentioned in the past I actually preferred using the system with this mounting plate system because it has two dust shields. It has the dust shield mounted to the AccuWedge table itself and the second dust shield mounted to the mounting plate. And this dual dust shield eliminates 90% of the sawdust from accumulating on the roller bearings on the AccuWedge system. So it requires much less cleaning of those roller bearings. In fact, using this dual dust shield system eliminates 90% of the dust getting into the roller bearings and I need to clean those very infrequently now. But since the AccuWedge system out on the AccuSlice system doesn't have a, a dual dust guard, I set about designing a new dust shield that I can use this system on the standard AccuSlice index table. I once again designed the secondary dust shield for the AccuSlice index table and AccuWedge table using the Fusion 360 software. The base of this dust shield contains three recesses which will be used to attach three magnets which will hold this dust shield onto the bandsaw table. From the side view you can see the overall shape which includes a top lip to cover the opening between the dust shield and the AccuWedge plate and the roller bearings. I spent quite a bit of time tweaking the dimensions of this dust shield to accurately fit the openings between the front shield on the AccuWedge table and the roller bearings. I then used my bamboo 3D printer to print out the finished design of the secondary dust shield. This is a sped up view of the actual printing of the dust shield for the AccuWedge system. And here is the finished dust shield that was printed out on the bamboo 3D printer. This development of this new dust shield for the AccuWedge system is part of a continuing process of improving the performance of both our AccuSlice systems and our AccuWedge systems. It began with the development of these brass thumb screws, which are larger brass thumb screws for the index table. The roller bearings, which are Delwin roller bearings, now on my uh, AccuWedge table. This AccuWedge ramp, which is a much better ramp than the previous ramp, which was supplied with the system. That's a major improvement. And then this fourth uh, invention was this new dust shield. So let me begin how this uh, new dust shield is installed. It's actually very easy. See, there's three magnets, which are embedded in these, those three holes in the plate, which I described earlier. And uh, then this just attaches to the table, it's held in place with these magnets. And I designed it that pretty much can go right against the rail, and slide against the rail. But it's designed to clear this dust shield. And what it is, is this dust shield protects from the top down, and this protects from the bottom up, and of course goes out over the side here to protect the, you know, some dust from going over the side, so it gives a little more protection. Now this original one is, is 8 inches long. I might consider making a longer one future. in the future. I'll see how this works and we'll see how it keeps the, uh, the, the roller bearings clean. If it doesn't, if it needs to be made larger, I'll make it larger in the future. But uh, for now, we'll, leave, we'll go with this 11-inch uh, model. Here you can see how this dust shield system actually works. We've got this dust shield which is mounted to the AccuWedge table, and that's clamped to the top of the table. So that protects the sawdust from getting in up at the top. But sawdust could still get underneath this uh, dust shield, and that's where this fence comes into place because this is actually attached to the bandsaw table so dust can't go underneath. So in order for dust to get to the roller bearings it has to go underneath the shield up and over this plate and then down. Of course it, it can always go over the side here but uh, protecting where the blade is and where it's cutting the wood it protects it pretty well. When I use the other system with this AccuWedge system mounted on the mounting plate it eliminated 90% of the sawdust from getting into the roller bearings so this should do a similar job. I did make several revisions to the system as I developed it. It wasn't a one-shot deal to design this. I made probably about uh, seven or eight different versions of this to test it out. Just trying to tweak in the dimensions so it would be perfect. I've even made one 
I did make one here where I actually glued two of these together so it's a 16 inch long uh, dust shield. So if this isn't long enough, I'll be making something like this in the future. But I think this will do the job, but just in case I made this to test it out also. So let's do some testing now to see how these, uh, this dust shield works and if it keeps the roller bearings clean. I, uh, I clean my roller bearings on this carriage so they're nice and clean to start with. So I start cutting some wood and uh, we'll see how it works. I like to lower my blade guide a little bit more to lower and keep that the safer it's going to be. And I'm starting out with a piece of wood up here. I'll make some wedges from that. And as I mentioned, I did, I'm using a new ramp also. And which makes this nice is my AccuStop rests right against this ramp so it's, everything's nice and straight. So here you see you complete assembly. I got my ramp, I got my dust shield, I got my AccuStop, everything's aligned. My gap between my dust shield and my table is about a 32nd or 64th of an inch. It's really close. I'm slicing this product at the actual cutting speed to show you the normal cutting speed I use for cutting my wedges. As always, I try and cut as slow as possible because the slower you cut, the smoother the cut. In order to cut a perfect wedges, I recommend you watch the video that we produced on how to cut perfect wedges with the AccuWedge system. There are a lot of good pointers in that video on the things you need to do to make sure your wedges are perfect. And here I'm now showing the video actually 10 times the actual cutting speed, again just for viewing purposes. So you don't waste too much time watching this, just cutting the wedges. I just cut 22 wedges of paduk, and you see I use paduk because it makes a lot of sawdust, and it's you can easily see it all over the place. And you see how much sawdust gets inside. It's, you know, it's on the ramp, it's on the table, it's on here. Some of it overflowed onto the rail here, but if you look down here against the blade, there's nothing. A little bit on the edge where it got on here and it went over the edge, but in here there's no sawdust at all. Definitely did a great job of keeping that uh, sawdust out of there. So it did a great job of keeping it clean. So I'm going to keep continue by cutting some additional wedges. You know, this system does still work clean. There's no sawdust on those uh, uh, roller bearings. If you get sawdust on the roller bearings, you'll see this, you'll have to, you'll see this jerking as you're trying to push it. But uh, as, long, as long as that's running nice and smooth, those roller bearings are nice and clean. Just another view of all the sawdust. You can see where all the sawdust is going. It's all over the table here, here on the, uh, the ramp, a little bit here on the edge, but nothing down in here, nice and clean. Okay, this next board is a piece of walnut. So let me cut a bunch of wedges for that also. Okay, I just finished cutting 42 of those walnut wedges and normally by this time my bearings would feel some friction and I feel nothing, they're nice and clean. And see there's no sawdust down in here at all, it's nice and clean. A little bit on the edge where it went over the edge here, a little bit here where it went off the table. Actually, this actually blowing off the table. But down in here, it's definitely clean and the little bearings run real nice and clean. So after running uh, 42 uh, walnut wedges and uh, 22 of the uh, paduk wedges, uh, it's perfectly clean. There's no need to uh, clean those bearings. They're running perfectly clean. So I think this 11-inch uh, uh, 
dust shield is play for the system. I'm not sure making a longer dust shield have any advantage. Uh, so we'll go with this and uh, we'll be posting this on our website very shortly to make it available. Okay, and this is a shot from a slightly different angle so you can see the dust not getting into the system. It's nice and clean down in here. Get their sawdust all over the place. I think the next thing to do is make some sort of system to collect sawdust on the top of the table here. So maybe that's a future, future project. Okay, I just cleaned the system up and vacuum up the dust on the surface of the system. So let's take a look at the barriers and see how clean they really are on the bottom. Put this barrage off. Here's the bottom of the AccuSly system. The bearings are perfectly clean. You see some sawdust in the inside of this first dust shield. That's where the sawdust actually went underneath. So if I didn't have this uh, secondary dust shield in here, that sawdust could have got down inside to the roller bearings. But these are nice and clean. They're perfectly, perfectly clean. So the system worked quite well. This concludes this video on the new secondary dust shield for the AccuEd system for use with the AccuSlice index table. This secondary dust shield was designed using a Fusion 360 software and printed out using the Bamboo 3D printer. It contains three small magnets which hold the dust shield to the bandsaw table. This new dust shield worked quite well to minimize sawdust from reaching the roller bearings on the AccuWedge table. This will reduce the need to frequently clean the roller bearings. This new secondary dust shield is now available from AccuSlice and is listed on the AccuWedge page on our website. The part number is AS280. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, as always, please give us a call or drop us an email. And thank you once again.